If possible, we are going to find the sum for this infinite series. Sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, the nth root of 2. What is the nth root of 2? We can look at the nth root of 2 in a power form. Maybe that will help better. Let's go ahead and do that. This right here is the same as sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity. And then for the nth root of 2, it's equivalent to say 2 raised to the 1 over n power. Well, the reason is because, remember, if we have the cube root, then that's the same as saying we have 1 over 3 power. Same thing. Here we have n, that means we have 1 over n power. That's all. But then, is this a geometry series? This is not a geometry series. Because for geometry series, we must have n in the power. Unfortunately, this is 1 over n in the power. So that's, this is bad. How can we approach this though? Well, in this case, we should always see whenever we have something that we encounter, let's just go ahead and check limit. As n goes to infinity, what will happen to this expression? Let's write down 2 to the 1 over n power. As n goes to infinity, we can just plug in infinity to n to see what happens. This right here will approach to 2 to the 1 over infinity power. And then 1 over infinity, we can draw a conclusion. 1 over infinity is 0. So this right here, it approaches to 2 to the 0's power. And we know 2 to the 0 is 1. So it needs to approach to 1. And based on this check, we know that this right here is eventually equal to 1. So in another word, eventually we're just going to be adding up a bunch of 1's. So what, what do we know about this series? This series diverges. Because you see the expression right here, this expression is approached to 1, this is not approached to 0. This is not equal to 0, right? So we can say that this series diverges by test for divergence. So that will be the end of the story. Whenever you just look at the expression right here, take the limit as n goes to infinity, if we don't get 0, that's good because we can stop and we can draw a conclusion, say this is diverge, right? But then if this was equal to 0, in that case, we'll have to do more work. But then luckily, in this case, we are done. So this is it.